and these leftists want to take those firearms away so that people are defenseless to defend their families. They, they, they won't focus on, on the criminals. They won't focus on the bad guys. And, and I got to say, it was really frustrating being down in Uvalde, seeing what happened, because I was also on the ground at Santa Fe. The Santa Fe High School is, is less than an hour from my house. I was there within an hour or so of when that horrific shooting happened. And I, I remember sitting down at round tables with the families from Santa Fe, and one of the things they talked about was best practices. How do you, how do you make a, a, a school safer? Hey everybody, Maggio Brani here. Today to talk to you about Ted Cruz. Oh, what's there to say about this guy? He goes on Sean Hannity, and he's talking about shootings, the Uvalde shooting, the fact that the DOJ has come out and said that a ban of assault rifles would not significantly decrease these school shootings. There's a lot to cover here, but let's first start by how he takes a jab. Ted Cruz takes a jab at Joe Biden by saying at the beginning of the segment, he goes, uh, hey, Sean, by the way, Joe Biden has united America in their dislike of him. And I'm watching Ted Cruz say this and I'm like, you mean you? Nobody likes you. Nobody ever has. Ted Cruz is so unlikable. Even his colleagues in the Senate are like, Ugh, nobody likes you. What's with these people in deflecting? He takes the dislike of himself and he throws it on Joe Biden. Joe Biden's approval rating is low. I agree with you, but nobody likes you, Ted. I don't know. I don't know why or how anybody would like you. Now, to get to the substance of the video, Ted is saying an assault rifle ban would not be helpful in stopping uh, these mass shootings. What is with gun people and their uh, hesitancy to find solutions together? Clearly, I know NRA, money, I get all that stuff. But let's come together. How about an assault rifle ban... OK, how about a limitation on high uh, capacity magazines? What if you only had five bullets in the magazine? So you would shoot five people up, 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 up. Now you got to reload. That gives time for for the people that are being shot at to escape. What about that? What about background checks that would tell us if somebody has a history and stop them from buying through the loopholes that exist. What about that? What about the fact that even if you had background checks, a lot of the mass shooters don't have a criminal history until they go on a mass shooting. So how about finding ways to limit guns for people who have an issue, a mental health issue, and they're ready to go on a rampage? No, that does not work for Teddy Cruz. Teddy Cruz want us, wants us to Harden our schools, security guards in the front, people coming through, cops, armed guards in the front of the school, people coming through one door because that's going to solve everything. Hey, dum dum, you were there. Did you see Uvalde? There was like 20 cops showed up and still 21 people, 19 kids were killed. There was armed, there was good guys with guns at the school and they weren't able to stop this guy from killing 21 innocent people. Your stupid theory of having armed guards doesn't help. You're going to have armed guards everywhere? What about the Buffalo shooting? You're going to have armed guards in grocery stores? What about the shooting in the hospital? You're going to have armed guards in hospitals? What about the, the, the guy? Anywhere you look, mass shooters will find a place that is a soft target and they will go attack it. Now, if you want to put guards everywhere, then we may as well live in RoboCop. That's the world we're living in because you, dumb dumb, aren't willing to accept the fact that we should limit certain guns, certain ammo, access to certain things that cause us Americans to have the most mass shootings in the world by far. Oh, Teddy Cruz, you try to paint yourself as someone who has solutions, someone who people like. I don't know why people like you. I have no idea the people that vote for you, they don't like you. They vote for you because, you know, you, you, you're, you're anti-women rights. So you're, you know, anti-abortion rights. You're, you're pro-gun. You say all the right things to get voted in, but nobody likes you. And this stupid thing that the people on the right are saying, 
with the guns and saying we shouldn't even look at, let's discuss, let's have a discussion. And people on the right need to start realizing that the solution is not just hardening schools and mental health. There's limitations. We need to limit. Uh, why do you need an assault rifle, by the way? What are you, Rambo? I keep saying this. But who are you? You need an assault rifle. If you're a hunter, get your hunter ri hunting rifle. If you want to protect your house, get a gun, protect your house. What else do you need? Assault rifles? What, what, you, what kind of cuckoo world are you living in? You don't need an assault rifle. You don't need high magazine, uh, capacity magazines. And, and we need solutions, Ted, not your bullshit deflection. And I'll end it with this. Biden said we need to hold some of these gun manufacturers uh, uh, liable for what's happening. I agree 100%. We live in America. Clearly, the Congress can't do anything because there's 50 Republican senators who won't vote for any common sense gun law, any kind of gun law. So clearly, we're not going to be able to do it through the politics. So we need to have people make enough noise, enough lawsuits come through. This is a capitalistic society, okay? That's how it works. The government didn't lock us down for COVID. The NBA did. When the NBA said we're not going to play anymore, everyone goes, oh shit, let's lock it down. The government didn't stop Donald Trump from trying to overthrow the, the, the uh, democratically elected Joe Biden over and over again by tweeting and going after Mike Pence and going after Nancy Pelosi, all that stuff. No, the government didn't stop Trump. Twitter did by taking him off. A, a, another private company stopped him. And similarly here with the guns, I think the way we get some sanity in this world is we start to go after the gun manufacturers, hit them in the pocketbooks, make them realize that they are liable for taking kids' lives, for taking adults' lives, for taking people's lives. And hopefully in five years, 10 years, 20 years from now, we will have less mass shootings and a more peaceful place. But everyone will still dislike Ted Cruz. I can't help you there.